This, in every way except for two, this is the best headphone. Let's talk about it. But first, we're gonna talk about today's video sponsor, Costway. Newsweek certified Costway is one of America's best home and garden brands of 2022. Based on performance, convenience, experience, value for money, quality, design, service, safety, and setup. Costway offers 24 hour online support and fast three to five day delivery. I got this ice maker on Costway. Setup was easy and I was cooling my drinks in no time. You can check out Costway at the link in the video description. They have a lot of great products on there and you can use this coupon code for $30 off your next purchase. Thank you Costway for helping to sponsor the channel. Strong words right out of the gate. This is the ZMF Atrium and I bought one. I've had this headphone for a few months and it wasn't long before I decided this is the one that's getting added to my collection and it's been on my head basically every day since. It's not perfect. There's a couple of drawbacks that might be major to you or might not be. So let's get into it, talking about build and comfort. I should note, this is not a cheap headphone. This is a several thousand dollar headphone. I have some more inexpensive things coming, but right now today, we're talking about the big boys. Like every ZMF headphone I have had on my head, Atrium is very beautifully crafted. Even with me not being a fan of rose gold, I really still love the way this unit is put together. Now my Atrium that I bought isn't here yet. This is a loaner unit from ZMF but I really, really like the look of this. This has a lot more vents on it than I've seen on any other ZMF headphone. It's lighter than the other open backs that I felt from them, though still a pretty heavy headphone overall. It's also the most open ZMF headphone that they've ever made. Not sound-wise, though yes, also sound-wise, I'm talking about the grill on the back. Some parts of the construction of the frame have become lighter, and here's where we get to number one of the two problems I have with this headphone, and that is, I really wish it had a little more padding, and I also wish that these cups could tilt out just a little bit more. The padding right here, just a little bit thin. Now this can be solved, with a pilot pad, and what do you know, I'm buying a pilot pad for my atrium. So if you are looking at this headphone, if you wanna get this headphone, you should get a pilot pad with it properly. Now this comes with a couple of pads and you can pick from a ton of pads for this headphone. A lot of them are very similar in comfort, so it's really going to come down to sound preference, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And I do have a strong sound preference as to which pads should be purchased for this headphone, but your mileage will vary depending on your taste. Like a lot of other ZMFs, this has mini XLR in and pretty much across the board you can tell this is a handmade handcrafted headphone. I mean somebody put time into this. Wooden headphones are not for everyone but I have known very few people to look at a wooden headphone like this and say that it doesn't look fantastic. Enough of me gushing about the build. Let's talk about sound. So there's a few set of pads available for this. The general default for this is the Fenstrated Universe pads. I also tried the Fenstrated Suede Universe pads. I tried Icon pads. I tried a ton of things. And what I settled on and what really blew my mind are the BE2 Perforated Suede Pads. That's a mouthful. BE2 Perforated Suede Pads. Or they might be listed as BE2 Fenstrated Suede Pads. Either way, Suede Pads BE2 with holes in them. With these pads, this is, in every facet except for one, the best sounding headphone that's ever been on my head. Hands down. Best sounding headphone that's ever been on my head. Which is crazy, because objectively, as we'll get into later, there are some faults in the frequency response. And this is also not a headphone I would describe as perfectly flat or perfectly neutral. There are pads that get you to more neutral territory than its current configuration, but what I'm getting out of it with these pads, I'll say it again, BE2 perforated suede pads, is nothing short of magic. This is the ultimate end game for someone who likes using the 6XX. And in every facet, it takes everything I love about that headphone and turns it up to 11. Vocal intimacy is insane. Vocal clarity is fantastic. I can hear the minute wisps of air coming out of the singer's voice, like air passing over the surface of their teeth. The mid range is insanely rich. The bass is rich. Everything is tight. It's textured. It's spacious. I finally am experiencing that holographic sound that so many people have described in so many headphones. This does it, and it does everything except for maximum detail. 
There are headphones I have heard that are more detailed than this, specifically planars, things like Susvara, or Electrostats, things like the Warwick Acoustic Bravura. Granted, both of those are headphones that are more expensive than this by a considerable margin, but if I had to nitpick, that'd be one area where this doesn't hold up to some of the more expensive headphones in the market. But it's still more detailed than any other ZMF I've heard. I would go so far as to say it's more detailed than any other dynamic I've heard, except for maybe Utopia. But with these pads, with it being so damn near perfect in every other area, I just don't crave that extra bit of detail. The dynamics are exactly where I'd like them to be, though there are more dynamic things in the world, I don't crave that extra bit of dynamics, and this really sits in an area where it can both be quiet and hurt me in the same song without changing the volume level. And I should clarify, when I say hurt me, I'm talking about SPL-wise, not harshness, not sibilance, because this, this doesn't go into those territories at all. I get trouble that feels extended, it feels airy, it feels sifted and smooth, but it can also feel warmer, it can feel darker, and it really depends on the song and how the song is mixed. Overall with these pads, I would say the tuning is warmer leaning, and you still get punchy powerful bass, but it does start to roll in the deep sub bass. I mean, very much like you get with the 6XX, but with, well, more. Because this extends better than 6XX does. And the bass is at a higher SPL than 6XX. I'm gonna get a graph pulled up here. Let's talk about objective sound and frequency response. Now this is Atrium with its stock pads, the Universe fenestrated pads. That is in red, and then green is the HD6XX. This is a raw measurement, so the elevations that we see in the treble are natural ear gain. And you can see it here, it is quite literally a 6XX with better bass. We see a recess around 4 kilohertz, and that stays consistent with all the different pads we have here. And we see more energy between 5 and 6 kilohertz than you see on the 6XX. I'm going to roll this over real quick, and now what we get is all of the various pads available that I have in house for this headphone. Now granted, there's more pads than this that you can get, but these are all the pads I tried. The orange line is the one I want you to pay attention to, because the orange line here, well, that is the BE2 suede perforated pad. It's so strange, something can go up and down like this and still sound so incredibly good. Now granted, my rig does have dips in it. Naturally, the ear of this rig does dip a little bit uh, around four kilohertz, you know, just like we saw on the 6XX. And naturally, my rig does dip around seven kilohertz too. So I'm inclined to believe that the dips that we see in this frequency response are nowhere near as deep as they actually are in reality. I would like to measure this headphone as well on a Gross 43AG, but I don't have access to one at this moment. So take some of these fine details and some of the troughs with a grain of salt. Some of the important takeaways for me from this are that the mid-range is linear, we can see where the warmth is, it doesn't get bloated, and we still have very very good ear gain, especially up moving into that three kilohertz region. That's really important and that really benefits the sound of this headphone a lot. And me being someone who complains as much as I do about measurements, I feel like it should really be high praise that I love this headphone as much as I do, especially given that it doesn't measure perfectly. In fact, this headphone with these pads sounds so, so good that it has made me entirely question my target. It has made me sit back and go, man, maybe I should be measuring things differently. And that really says something. I gotta keep gushing about this thing. Let's talk about power. This thing likes juice. Honestly, I think it sounds fantastic on amps like the Topping A90. I think it sounds even better on Class A amps like my Sanyo P55. And if you really do want to take it up a notch, tube amps. Now, I'm gonna be reviewing a tube amp a little bit later this year, uh, made by Felix Audio. I think it's a fantastic pairing for this headphone, but a lot of amps are fine with it. I mean, things like the Topping L50, things like the Topping A90, solid. I'm more than happy with those in my setup. Just make sure that you have an amp with some overhead because this is a 300 ohm headphone and you don't want to have to max out your amp to really drive this thing well. If your amp has more headroom, it'll be happier and this headphone will be happier. Now, with that also said, I don't think this is a headphone you need to run balanced. It's fine single-ended. If you really want to run balanced, go for it. And now let's talk about conclusions. This is the most I've ever gushed about a headphone. God, I feel like I'm going soft. There are some things coming in the near future that I really didn't like, and uh, you'll see. <clears throat> Macintosh tube amp. Did you hear that? 
Huh, must have been the wind. Atrium really does it. Aside from this needing a little bit more padding, aside from it being heavy, and aside from it not having as much detail as some other high-end headphones, this really is the best thing I've ever put on my head. And I am not a person who will spring to spend this much money on a headphone, but I did. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have that headphone come in. When it does, I'll unbox it and I'll show it to you guys because the color is gonna be sick. There are probably pads that some of you might like more on this headphone. I'm glad Zach gives you the option to ship this headphone with two sets of pads. I would highly recommend at least making one of your pads that you get with this headphone, the BE2 suede perforated pad. And you know what? Maybe the other one could be the stock pad or anything else that you wanna try, but I really recommend this pad as at least one of your two options. ZMF Atrium, man. When I went to my first Can Jam, was back when Zach was showing off Icon and Atticus for the first time. And those were great headphones, but he has come a really, really long way since then. And you know what? He might make something else in the future that outdoes this. Because I remember when Otour came out and I thought, man, I don't know how I can get much better than that. And I mean, here we have it, a headphone that does everything Otour did well, but does it significantly better. Because everything that Verte did well and does it significantly better. CMF Atrium. By the way, if you wanna see more videos like this, I do headphone related and audio related videos on the Headphone Show channel every single week. You can check that out linked in the video description. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I wanna get back to listening to this thing. Guys, if you like this video, please leave a like down below, a comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you wanna get active in the community and help support the channel, you can get on my Patreon. It gives you a link to my Telegram chat where you can chat with me and others in the community directly. As always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until the next one. Peace.